afternoon, good evening uh, to colleagues uh, connecting in wherever you are. Uh, my name is Jim Kelly. I'm the Ambassador and Deputy Permanent Representative here at the Permanent Mission of Ireland to the United Nations in New York. And I'm delighted uh, to welcome you all, with apologies for a slight delay, uh, to today's first committee side event organised by the Permanent Mission here in collaboration with the Middle East uh, Treaty Organisation titled Achieving the Possible, a regional organisation for a WMD free zone in the Middle East. Ireland has a long history of engagement on this issue and we're delighted to continue to work alongside the Middle East Treaty Organisation in order to host this exchange of ideas on the zone. Today we're fortunate to be joined by a number of excellent speakers from a number of institutions and organisations who will share their knowledge and experience to discuss ways forward for a Middle East uh, WMD free zone, including via a new model for a draft treaty. And Paul may perhaps introduce the speakers after I've uh, said these few words of introduction. It'll come as no surprise to anyone that Ireland has long supported the establishment of a Middle East WMD free zone. We continue to be supportive of all efforts to convene an inclusive and productive conference on the issue. We're eager to create space for these important discussions and we do this not only through our side events at the first committee and in the NPT process, but also most recently with a side event at the BTWC in recognition of the full scope of the zone going beyond just nuclear issues. At the 2010 NPT review conference, Ireland acted as chair of the body that negotiated the breakthrough text on the zone. It's unfortunate, of course, that the conference envisaged in the 2010 outcome document could not be held. And there's no doubt that the 1995 resolution on the zone, which was an integral part of the indefinite extension package, remains one of the key issues where progress is needed at the NPT. We continue to call for full implementation of the 1995 resolution and the agreement reached at the 2010 NPT review conference on the zone. Ireland and the European Union consider the creation of a Middle East zone to be important for international peace and security and crucial for the future of the NPT. Failure to advance the issue severely hampered progress at the 2015 NPT review conference and more broadly risks undermining the NPT as the cornerstone of the international non-proliferation regime. So progress on this key issue can bring vital momentum to our broader disarmament work. We were encouraged by the adoption of a political declaration at the New York conference in November of 2019 by participating states, which expressed their intent and commitment to pursue this issue. We're keen for our work on the zone to continue with the involvement of all stakeholders from the region, and we welcome the convening of the second session of the conference later this year. So I hope very much that this event today will provide a platform for a creative discussion of the current situation. And I'm grateful that we'll have such a knowledgeable and insightful panel with us today. So I'll hand back to Paul now for what I'm sure will be a lively discussion. And I hope you'll all enjoy the event and find it useful. Thank you very much.